groupies welcome back to former therapy this is the culture study i am the channel's video producer you can call me pd and today we are watching and new but it's the symbol for and also another video called caffeine by id i'm not familiar with id i don't know who she is but we're gonna be checking this out i had a couple of requests for id a few months ago just getting to it now because we're playing catch up thank you for your patience and as always if you would like to see any of these videos early they are are always up on patreon a few days early so if you want to support us if you want to get early access to content patreon.com slash former therapy is the best way to do so uh, however supporting us monetarily is completely optional if you don't want to or you can't we understand let's just get into this video this is and new and caffeine by id and this is your form of therapy I mean, I'm already a sucker for, like, that nostalgic sound. I kind of like how it sounds a little bit off-tune. Okay, her voice is amazing. Her voice is amazing and her visual appeal is also very interesting because she kind of comes off very much like an actress. Those sounded like gated reverb drums, but they sounded very muffled. Like a lot of this song, the instrumental sounds very muffled and like a little bit underproduced. Like not in like a bad way, but kind of like in an intentional way where it feels a lot more nostalgic, where it feels a little bit like not just an 80s or a 90s inspired sound but like it was almost like it was actually produced from that time i love this scene in particular these setups because like the background kind of looks like that it has that 80s or 90s sort of um prom look to it I gotta say, in this 
current pop scene, this was a refreshing change of pace. I mean, we're definitely going through a big 90s inspired trend right now, but this one caters towards, I would say, sort of like the late 80s, early 90s in Korea. It's a little bit different for America because Asia was a little bit late on the trend. So early 90s stuff in Korea doesn't look like early 90s stuff in America. Early 90s stuff in Korea, even through the mid 90s, felt very 80s inspired. And it has that sort of vibe to the song i mean not just the actual sound and the inspo like i said it sounds like the song was actually produced from that era the music video uh, rather simple uh, nothing really particularly special about it but i do like the one scene where they have the spotlight on her and it's got like what do you call that it's not confetti but like the long strands of like the reflective material it kind of made it feel like it had that 80s 90s prom dance sort of decor so that kind of fit in general the music video as simple as it is there was something about it where even the production of it was rough but not in a bad way again it all feels very intentional where it also feels like the video was almost from that era and the way she kind of sings the way she works the camera her actual camera charisma is also somehow reminiscent of that era like i don't know maybe it's the straight black hair maybe it's the eyes that she actually gives the camera but something about this more than just beyond the song feels like a full package type of deal and you know i've seen a lot of these retro songs recently but this one might be one of the best that I've seen so far. Now we're gonna watch Caffeine. I have to assume it's gotta be a drastically different style, right? I mean, it's called Caffeine. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Let's just check it out. Never mind, it's not. It's the exact same style. It's a different sound. But this has that same sort of muffled, retro production style. This one is definitely a little bit more heavy on like the 80s synth, synth wave vibe. Sounds a little less muffled. Production sounds a lot more clear. You can hear the drums a lot better. Transition into the chorus is really, really cool. down to the shot of like the camera outside of the car and like peering in while she's just sitting there looking out at the city is like right up the alley.
cool closeout. Okay, this is not what I expected when I was getting into this. Caffeine, just like and new has that very nostalgic retro 80s 90s inspired sound but again it sounds less inspired by that sound and more like it's a song from that actual era it sounds like what i grew up on for example a 90s inspired sound would be let's say idols uh oh you know that's a very 90s inspired especially west coast hip-hop la sound but the production is very modern but here even the production isn't modern, you know? It's not just that it's inspired by that era. It sounds like it's a production style specifically from that era. Production styles go through trends. It goes through stylistic evolutions. People don't make music like how they used to, like five years ago, 10 years ago. And it always changes and everyone always adapts to the trend. But not a lot of people ever seem to go back to a previous production style. This one seems like they actually went back. And I really appreciate that. The sound sounds a lot more cohesive. It sounds a lot more natural, and I really, really dig it. It's super dope. I'm not sure how popular ID is within the Korean scene. Guys, if you know who ID is or anything about her, please let me know in the comments down below. But I can say for sure that my interest is definitely peaked. Uh, the music videos, they weren't exactly, I don't know, it's hard to gauge because they weren't exactly the best produced music videos because there were some things I would have done differently or changed. But if I think about it, I'm like, but what? Was that intentional? Some of the bad lighting and some of the aesthetic choices in this music video that I didn't agree with, am I looking at it through a modern lens? Did they choose certain purposeful aesthetic choices because they were also trying to emulate the music video of that era? Because, you know, filmmaking wasn't perfect back then and it was like less high quality than it is now. One thing I also did appreciate is actually, especially during the caffeine music video, one of the default things a lot of people do is like make the video like 90% 80% make it look like VCR inspired and that's fine and all it happens a lot but I like that it was very minimally used in this music video it was still used but felt a lot more controlled felt like they only sprinkled it in here and there and the angles were kind of voyeuristic so it had sort of like very cool edgy kind of dark indie feel to it which I really liked so I appreciate that it might be like smart video production sometimes it's actually more difficult to make something look like a lesser quality than it is, especially if you're trained in a certain way. And I can't imagine that anyone from like the modern era would shoot like this. So this is actually a pretty inspired choice is what I'm saying cautiously. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of The Culture Study. I hope you enjoyed checking out ID with me today. Let me know what you guys thought about her music in the comments down below. Also, if you would like to support us, please remember that Patreon is the best way to do so. If you go to patreon.com slash form therapy for as little as two dollars a month you get early access to videos just like this uh, however if you want to support us for free we completely understand why don't you go ahead and click like down below right there it helps us out with that search algorithm leave a comment while you're there as well also if you're new go ahead and click subscribe be notified when we upload a new video and go ahead and check out our playlist of other videos over here